Here you go, Lou. Challenge accepted. McGuire's. 72 Chev. Really dirty. There you go, Lou. Look at that shine. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, look at the reflection of the trees. It's just perfect. Hey, welcome to Uzulu channel today. Today's video, we're at the junkyard parts galore, and we're gonna be doing, testing out some of these products on the car. This is one right here, it's 75 LTD uh, with the brown color. We're coming here to try out some of these detailing products. What it, these products would do to an older paint. A paint that hasn't been washed in years. Who knows how long it's been sitting at the yard. Um, this uh, video right here, we're going to see how this ceramic polish and wax used on it. Granted, we're not going to be doing no fleet cleaning on it. You know what I mean? We're not worried about getting scratches. I'm going to use a wash. I'm going to use Ethos wash and wax just to kind of clean it a little bit. Because it's all I have for a waterless wash. And then we'll go into this. So, um, if you like to see more videos like this, us going to the junkyard and uh, trying out products, let us know. That's something we're, uh, we've been thinking about doing, testing products out. So, I'm not going to tape up nothing up. We're going to do a little section here and see what it looks like. And this is a perfect example of if it's going to shine it up. Check it out. It's faded, dirty, everything. All right, All right we're going to clean it up a little bit, best we can. Little square area. Now I can tape it off. I'm gonna do some, uh, this is the first time doing this at a junkyard, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna improve our, our you know, each time we try a junkyard a product, we're gonna improve, uh, improve our testing out here. And I'm gonna throw these rags away. I granted they look new, but I've been polishing a lot with them. They're starting to wear out. All right, we'll let that dry and then we'll try to try the product out. All right, check that out, and that's just with the, the waterless wash and ethos. Look at that, just doing that with that product did a great job. So this could be a test on both products. Look at that, look at the difference. And that's just with the waterless wash right here. Now I'm not, I don't use a lot of waterless washes because of our environment with snow. I like rinseless washes better. All right, we're gonna get going and see what this stuff looks like. Turn it off. All right, now this turtle wax, polish and wax, is an all-in-one formula. It basically it says it move, removes scratches, swirls, and paint infections, imperfections, sorry about that. And it's supposed to have some um, wax polymers in it and a little bit of SiO2Os. This is the first time using this. I figured I'll try it out on, on this product right here. It says basically apply four small size, dime size drops on your pad. 2x2 two two pattern, crisscross pattern. And then if you ever use it, you want it to let it cure for 24 hours before washing. We don't have to worry about that here. All right, basically this is, has uh, chemical resistance and gives some months of protection. That's what it's basically saying. So we'll try it out. And this is a new product out from Turtle Wax right here. Look at that. <laughs> Perfect way to test. This is a test panel. <laughs> so, all right. And, and I always save some old, my old pads for you know stuff like this so that's what's nice saving my old pants and not using brand new ones so we're not you know what we're using is not completely brand new and we didn't contaminate the paint perfect we just did that maybe next time i'll bring a sprayer with some water and we could do stuff like that next time shake it out real well and we'll see how she does you know what, matter of fact, while we're here too, because I'm not worried about the pad, I'm gonna throw it away. We're gonna do a section right here too. We'll do this and this and see what it does. Four little drops. I have a tension to always use too much. There we go. And what you can do is just pat it on there and then work it in. We'll stop right there, we'll go like that. Goes on nice. Use some pressure, you can use this with the DA. I didn't bring it, need a cordless one out here. We're just basically gonna let that uh, flash. Look at that. 
Of course, this paint is different from today's modern paint. Most likely, this is a, more like a close to a single stage paint. This is a 1975. Look at that picture right there, yeah. Check out the rust proof right there. See that? Rust proof. Basically, we let it flash a little bit. Let's see if we buff it off. Dang. Look at that. Check that out, guys. That's what I got off of it. Flip it around. Wow. Turtle wax. Make sure I get that off. Good. All right. Show the results on that for me, huh? So this is just washed right here. Right here, we didn't touch. We didn't wash it or nothing. And right here, we use the, the ceramic polish uh, and polish wax. and wax by Turtle Wax. So. New product that's out. Supposed to have ceramic SIO twos in it. Screen beating. You know what? We'll try it with the I mean, little bit even, of water I got. Even smoothed it up quite a bit too for just oh, that. Check that out. Now it did take a little bit of the infections out. Let's see if it takes out this little spot right here. While we're here, we're gonna test this out. And it was bottle caps that suggested us to do this as a challenge start testing products out here all right i'm not going to let it dry holy cow look at that it's gone that's what happens when you're using a single like a single stage paint What a, wow, this is, is that new product. It's amazing to see how a product can bring paint that looks like this or even just dull like this back to okay. something like this. And it's really crazy to see that. Let's try it right here. Let's see what it looks like while we're here. So this is without us washing the panel at all. This is just, just using the turtle wax product. I'm putting some pressure down on it too to get those scratches. All right, take this off. I'm not worried about really getting any scratches on it. Come on. Look at that. Wow. This stuff's some awesome stuff. If this can do this to an old 75 paint, this thing's been sitting, you know, couple years we come here a few times a year and, and a lot of the vehicles old especially the old section are still here from last time that's crazy i mean it really brings back that bronze color to the paint it really brings it back and then, well it says not to let it get wet for 24 hours but since we're here we not can come back in 24 hours let's uh let's spray some water this wash on it just for the heck of it See if it does beat up. Well, that ain't gonna work, is it? It's gonna hard to mimic rain without the hose. Sorry about that. Well, I tried. It didn't work. I'll bring a pump sprayer next time. Might have to start doing this more often. Let that flash and show it. Like this. So it goes to show you guys, I mean, these cars are sitting, so these are, you know, cars you're probably not going to purchase to work on, but say you do buy a car that's in a similar, you know, condition as this, it goes to show you, you really don't have to always repaint the car to bring back a good shine to it. And Obviously, this, it's not going to be perfect. And plus, too, we did this by hand. No DA. We didn't do a complete 100% decon on it, you know, removing clay using an iron remover to re, uh, remove it. Can you imagine if you did those steps that we always usually do on our videos and, and when we do details, man, you could bring this old paint and make it look good again. Granted, you're not gonna get every little deep scratch like that out, but for a car you're not gonna wanna repaint and you just want it to look good and cruise around in, this stuff works. I mean, if you have time to do, if you have this car in your garage or at your house, you can do so much to it to actually make it look really, really well with using different products and different techniques and everything you have that you would normally use on like a newer car, you could really bring a paint like this back to life. All right, so yeah guys, this is from this product right here. Perfect, I'm gonna I'm gonna step up my game and come here and bring different products 
and I'll bring the spray water and so we can get some water bead effects and uh, stuff like that. And we'll, we will continue to do videos like this, weather permitting, because we're, we're heading into winter. And when we get nice days like today, today we saw like 45 out, supposed to get close to 50. We'll do come out here and do stuff like this. We got other uh, junkyards that are a little bit closer to home that we can go to also. I haven't been to the one by our house in a long time. I'll see what they got. But uh, yeah, so yeah, that, this stuff worked pretty good, guys. Let us know what you guys think in the comment about this new product from Turtle Wax right here. And I uh, thanks uh, uh, Bottle Caps for suggesting and, and putting this challenge and challenging us to do something like this. And he said, I can only put pick one product on this. But since we're here, I'm going to test out some more products um, on this. will be separate videos. Next video is going to be on ultimate secret weapon one step what we're gonna do on this we'll try it on this ltd while we're here because it's hit and it might try some on that the 76 dodge charger over here in red and that be the next video we're making a couple of videos today so hey so if you guys just uh thanks for watching the video and uh you know we appreciate it it's awesome to have a, a community on youtube that we can upload these videos to and have people watch them and you know support the channel it means a lot you know so thanks for subscribing thanks for watching if you guys like the video you know go ahead and give it a like and if comment uh your opinion on that product and you know let us know if there's any other products you guys want us to try on these cars and you know consider subscribing if this is first time watching you know we do overall car stuff you know detailing car shows you know car maintenance car repair all that so if you guys are into that go ahead and subscribe and you know thanks for watching